this afternoon. Pretty excited about it because we don't know anything about it. It's a new stand. First time anybody sat here and we can see for days. We actually bumped what looked to be a shooter deer just coming up the road to get in here. So we're looking out over a big, that's a little bit of a cut and a ditch, but a huge, just wide expanse of land we can almost see to the next town. We have no idea what's out here except for the big deer we saw jumping in here. So we may see only him tonight or we may see him again. Plus we don't know. But it's pretty warm. The rod they're chasing. Yeah, I mean it's wide open so we're hopeful. It's always fun when you go in not knowing what to expect. Last time I did that I didn't see a single deer so let's hope it's different this time around. So the strategy for this next location that we basically built that Steve's going to go into is we've hauled these two very large tripods up. We've wrapped them uh, with, with the material and then we've anchored them down. And you would look at these tripods from afar and go, oh my God, how can you even think there's a possible way that a deer's not going to see you? Well, we leave these tripods up 12 months out of the year. They get so used to it being right there. And the only thing new is a little bit of your head popping up out there. And in those types of situations, these tripods will allow you to literally see miles. We saw some really good deer way off in the distance and the rut kind of put a damper on our, our hunt that evening because the big ones were chasing does way far out. Nine. We saw a bunch of you know, good, going to be better when they're older um, bucks come in. And, you know, being out when it's cool and starting to get cooler and, and just seeing game, it's, it's, never, it's never an evening wasted. So no big bucks on the first day, but high hopes going into the second. 